that they are the leader of the digital transformation. And in fact, just over a third of them do own it. However, transformational efforts are more likely to be led by someone outside of the IT organization, including newly appointed leaders such as the VP of Transformation or a Chief Digital Officer. In those environments, it is critical that you, as a CIO, lead by managing sideways, which will require a totally different set of skills and strategies from you. You will need a different approach depending on where the digital transformation is centered. Three things will change in the digital era, and you must react to each of them. First, the way power is distributed amongst and within businesses. Second, the way investments in technology and people must change. And third, the way to establish leadership. You can control and influence all three of these things. I believe you can do this. So let's look at what's happening with the power shift. Because it's not what you may be thinking. Digital startups are not just out in the market. They are in your own organization, in your marketing department, in HR, in logistics, in sales, your business units are acting as technology startups. Yes, every business unit is a technology startup. Simply stated, there is a shift of demand and control away from IT towards digital business units closer to the customer. 38% of total technology spend is outside of the IT organization's budget already, with a disproportionate amount in digital. And by 2017, it will be 50%. In the new model, every business unit is a startup. And CIOs are changing their strategies by managing sideways. That's the power shift. Our second area to change is an investment to your budget. With the migration from CapEx to OpEx, and the migration from centralized spend to dispersed spend, let's look at your typical IT budget and how it is changing. Here it is today, carved into the common towers. This should look somewhat familiar. Most IT budgets, in fact, look like this. Now, if I remove some of the details so that we can see what's happening in aggregate, Let's look at the major categories. Services, software, hardware, and people. IT service contracts take up less than a quarter of the budget, but they tend to be long term. That is changing in the digital era. If you look at software, traditional IT software deals can run for decades, and large systems take years to roll out. 